Hey everyone, welcome back to BrickCraft, and uh, today I have a guest host here to uh, talk about Skyrim, because I don't know much about Skyrim, so everybody uh, sit back and relax and listen to what uh, Shepherd of Knowledge has to say about it. So go ahead and introduce yourself, and go ahead and talk about whatever you want about the game. Hello, my brothers and sisters. It is I, Shepherd, as Britt just said. And today I want to give you just a little bit of wisdom and knowledge on this here Skyrim. Skyrim. Skyrim is one of my favorite games that I've ever played in my entire life. My entire years of living, I will put Skyrim as like right at the top. Because Skyrim gives me the opportunity to do what I want to do. Most games have a set story. You become this character. You become immersed in their life. You become immersed in their feelings. But not in Skyrim. In Skyrim, you get to be who you want to be. You get to choose the dialogue you want to do, and you get to make the decisions that you want to make. If you want to be a stone cold killer, kill innocent people for no reason, you can do that. If you want to be a hunter, you can go out and you can murk every animal you find. You can do that. If you want to be the hero, okay, if you want to be the hero who goes out and helps everybody, who saves everybody, and who does what's right all the time, you have that option. And that is so beautiful to me. Usually when I play, I play as a Kajit. Kajits are these cat-like creatures that are really, really good with their hands and their claws. So they don't need swords, first of all. So I don't have to go through all that crap to find a sword. I can just go up, kill somebody with my bare hands. And second of all, they're extremely sneaky. And I love being sneaky. I love doing all the nasty, dirty things like pickpocketing and breaking into people's houses that I can't do in real life uh, and that is extremely fun to me and I enjoy it so much because Skyrim gives me that opportunity. Another really really cool feature that I like is just the map itself. There's so many hidden treasures, so many hidden coves, so many hidden like uh, villages, so many hidden chests. There's so much to find. You can play this game without ever touching the story. I don't touch the story when I play Skyrim. I actually go around and explore and just look at the world, find as many good items as I can, find as many good armor, and then I do the story. And then I get into killing the dragons, which is my third favorite part, is that you get to kill dragons. Dragons are always the pinnacle. They're always the best in these type of games, the strongest creatures there are. And for you to be able to jump on its back, stab it in the neck, take it down, Take its bones, take its skin, make an armor, and then absorb its energy to do your own power, which is a thum. That's just amazing to me. I mean, I can go on all day about how amazing a game Skyrim is, just because there's so much to do. The map, it's so big, it's so beautiful, the developers put so much work into it, it's mind-blowing. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm extremely excited just talking about the game. So, if you haven't played this game, you should play it, because... It's amazing. So thank you, Britt, for having me on this video. And uh, beautiful canvas, by the way. Wish I was that artistic. And thank you guys for listening. Uh, until next time, namaste. Thanks so much for that uh, Shepherd of Knowledge. And if you guys want to check out his page, I'm going to leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel so you can go ahead and check out the videos that he does there. And uh, yeah, I'm finished my canvas right here. And it's a Skyrim canvas, so... I think it looks really, really cool. I like the different layers. It makes it look like it's like back farther in the picture. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see some more videos by me, go ahead and click that link right there on the wallet, and it'll take you to my last video. And uh, don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because I rate on them kind of daily. So see you there.